May Allah grant us goodness. Allah says in the rest of that verse that Allah knows its place that it's going to come through and where it's going to leave from everything. Your birth and death is determined by Allah. Everything is already prescribed, predestined by Allah. You rely on Allah. Allah says he will provide for every single one all his creatures what they need the problem with us we become depressed because we have what we need but we want beyond what we need there is a difference between what you need and what you want what you want allah didn't guarantee he's going to give you what you need allah will give it to you subhanallah it's amazing so what do you actually need you don't need the luxuries you don't need so much and whatever else you probably need a little bit of food to survive some clothing to cover yourself a little place that you can actually sleep even if it happens to be under a tree if that's what allah has written he's provided you what you need but what you want allah still says i will give you as much as i would like to give you you work hard i will still provide you know what? To show you that I will actually give you more than not only what you deserve, but more than what you need. And then it's a test to see, will you share with others? Will you talk to others? Will you communicate with others? Will you help others? Not only financially and materialistically, even by speaking to them. Sometimes talking to someone is more valuable than a million pounds because you've spoken to them. You've moved them. You've changed their lives. People say, you know what? You've changed my life. Well, I tell you what, you need to start changing the lives of others in whatever way possible. Sometimes within our own homes, we don't even talk to each other because we forget that reaching out to people primarily starts with speaking to them subhanallah so if you rely upon allah and you understand that allah created you number one he will provide for you he will definitely give you there's no way that allah can forget you when he's provided for the ants when he listens to the discussion of the flies amazing subhanallah so look at what Allah says. If you are true believers, you rely on Allah correctly. Your reliance should be fully on Allah. You shouldn't be worried. Take cognizance of the fact that Allah is in charge. I always say, when things happen your way, say Alhamdulillah. When they don't happen your way, say Alhamdulillah twice. Because they are happening according to your boss, who is Allah, your maker. Subhanallah. I was reading an article of a sister, 1979, having arrived, some of you might have seen this, having arrived from Syria into America, and she had a little uh, delay because she refused to take off her scarf in order to take a photograph. And what happened? They missed the connecting flight. And as they missed the connecting flight, they later discovered that that flight was involved in a crash and everyone died. How many of us have been saved by being delayed? We get angry sometimes, agitated because of something that went wrong according to us. But according to Allah, nothing ever went wrong. Subhanallah. Someone can bash your motor vehicle completely. You walk out with a smile. Yes, it doesn't mean you say, it's okay, it's okay. Sometimes it's not okay. No. We can get out with a smile and still claim what we have to and still say you were wrong. Yes, I know you were wrong, but it's called an accident. No one did it purposely, but we come out of the vehicle as though they did it intentionally. Come on, subhanallah. May Allah grant us ease and guide us. Don't be angry when things don't happen your way, because in that case, something is wrong with your belief in Allah. It's not strong enough. You need to believe that Allah was in charge. If you plan to do something, you desperately wanted to marry someone, you wanted a specific business, you wanted to buy a specific house, you wanted to do something, you needed a specific dress, you wanted to attend a specific function, and it did not happen your way, thank Allah double because it happened His way and He took over. He saved you from something. And even if you don't realize what he did for you at the time, the fact that you're happy with what Allah decided for you would actually earn you closeness to Allah. Allah decided it for you. So don't worry, you've lost out on nothing. The only time you blame yourself is when Allah has given you the capacity, the ability to do something that is beneficial for you or to protect yourself from some harm. And you sat back and said, well, if it's decreed, let it happen. 
like the lazy lot of today who sit at home and make dua oh allah i've been reading five salah a day i'm getting up for tahajjud oh allah help me help me i need sustenance oh allah i need a minimum of a thousand pounds a week that makes it fifty two thousand pounds a year not a bad salary actually so Oh Allah, give me a thousand pounds a week. And you're sitting and you just, your hands are raised and your hands are raised and you're pious. That pious is mistranslated. It's got to do with pies, maybe meat pies. Subhanallah. Because you cannot sit in your room when Allah's given you the capacity to pick up your phone and look for jobs online from your phone. But you say, no, I rely on Allah. That is false reliance. The hadith says, tie your camel, then say, I rely on Allah. Allah gave you the capacity. You cannot leave your motor vehicle open with all your pounds dangling from here and there and everything else, you know, that's valuable in your vehicle. And you say, I rely on Allah and Allah alone. He's going to take care of my car. Well, I tell you what, when you come back, everything will be stolen from the car and your car will be gone as well. Why? You were foolish. So this is why we say when Allah gave you the capacity to do something, do it, use your brain, use your energy. That's why the hadith says, Ihris ala ma yanfa'uk wasta'in billahi wa la ta'jaz. Always, always work hard to achieve what is beneficial for you. Did you hear that? Work hard to achieve what is beneficial for you and seek the help of Allah and never give up. Subhanallah, that's called proper reliance on Allah. I locked my car, I did whatever I could. Still someone bashed, broke the window and stole something. I say, Alhamdulillah, I'm okay. Allahu Akbar. Allah didn't want me to, 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 to perhaps make use of something that was stolen. Maybe it was stolen from me. So this is all the help of Allah. You need to understand how Allah works. If you believe, you definitely will be a happy person always. You'll be content. The affairs of a true believer are amazing. Why are they amazing? When good comes in his or her direction, he's happy. She's happy. And thanks Allah. I'm thankful to Allah.